All right, so who am I here with? Big Zay Munna. Zay Munna the one. You know what's going on. All right, so for the people out there that don't really know what you do, yeah, just explain a little bit about yourself and what you do. I be rapping, you know, feel me, turning up, putting on for the Bronx, you heard? Gang. All right, so you say you be putting on for the Bronx. What makes you feel like that, you know? Because there's a lot of, you know, Bronx drill rappers and stuff like that that, you know, is putting on as well. So, you know, what, what kind of makes you feel like you, you know, putting on? <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause you know, we go hard for this, you know what's going on, like, feel me? Everybody putting on, the Bronx is just winning in general, but, you know, they might do his thing too. Speaking of the Bronx, you feel me? At one point, Brooklyn had it, or whatever, you feel me? Do you think the Bronx is gonna hold on to the drill scene, like the whole drill wave, or you think, you know, maybe in the near future, you know, Brooklyn might get it back, or whatever, you feel me? I mean, everybody got their waves, you feel me? But right now, I know for sure the Bronx is going crazy right now. Or maybe in the future, you think, like, maybe Queens might get it, you in Manhattan, Harlem, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if they get a, somebody get a bang out there and everybody start looking that way, then that's what happens. So I, every dog got they, um, get their bone they day, though, for sure. Or That's a fact. So, um, what made you, like, want to start doing music and stuff like that? Like, what, what got you into it? Oh, my brother, my brother Sin used to rap first, so that's what made me want to start rapping and shit. Other than that, yeah. All right, so um, I see you, you, you know, I, I, I looked up a couple of your videos and stuff like that. You feel me? Um, there's three people that I specifically want to name that you kind of made music with, and I just want to like a little backstory of how did you meet them in a way. Yeah. So one of them. Was K Flock? I seen you did a song with K Flock. Ain't no Uber, we lift them. Kick trying to blitz them. Baba, she loves them, she tricked them. Hold on, funny how kids are tricks in. He tried to run, matter of fact, get the blitz in. Yeah. I also seen you did a um, song with B Love. Shoot at his face, that's no ID. Niggas be joking like this shit a game. When I slide him, boy, I'm trying to harm him. I got like 30 stacked up in his thing. And now you got a song with Ron Sooner. I'm with your bitch and I ran out of condoms. Thought I'm fucking a road, no problem. Please give a stick cause you know that I got one. She gave me top just from the bottom. So kinda like what's the backstory? How did you meet each and every one of those people those people that I mentioned? I mean, me and K Flock from the same block. Oh, so this Seth side right here, where I'm at right now? It's you in between. Seth side and third side, like Seth side down there, third side right here. Same shit. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> nah, yeah, you outside though for sure, gangster. You with, you where the virus shit happens at right here, all right here in the circle right here. Now nah, I could tell, I could tell, cause we kind of passed by a little barbershop and shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Well, a lot of people be getting their cuts from if you yeah, know, yeah. you know. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. So how did you meet him? Just being from the neighborhood, from the block and shit. Nah, yeah, facts. Niggas basically like, all right, everybody grew up together, feel me, same shit, up and down the block shit, you know? Gang. So how did that, like, track kind of come about? Like, did you get on the track? Did he, like, yo, let me get on the track, uh-uh, whatever? No, he was in the studio making that shit. He pulled up late. That's why he was last on the song. He pulled up late, and he's like, yo, this shit fire, let me hop on. So he, feel me, hopped on, did his thing, and we just dropped that shit, went viral. Yeah, I, see. I, see, I also see you got a song with B-Love too. Did you expect K-Flock and B-Love to like be where they at right now? Or like, do you never really, like, it caught you by surprise? Nah, I don't know. Like, when they, when they, when they first started going crazy first, like, they was going viral. Like, they was, they was talking. Like, everybody was jacking the music. Feel me? So it's like, I knew that shit was, feel me, gonna go farther. Cause they start, I right, getting more views than, Niggas regularly used to get when they used to play around with the rap shit. So when they start doing it, really, they turned it up a little bit. For sure. So, um, you're from Seth side or third side? I'm from third side. Okay, okay. I just want to make that clear, you know what I'm saying? So, how was your upbringing, you know, being from third side and shit like that? I mean, like, you know, that's, we from the gates, man. I know you walk past the gates, you've seen them gates, man. Like, yeah. a lot of people don't play with them gates. That's all I'm going to say, like. It's, that's a that's a that's a lifestyle a lot of people probably can't live or can't deal with. Or so what 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 is like third side like what 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 is the meaning behind that like what is that? You don't mind I mean, me asking. Nah, we that's that's one eight three third side like we just took the three and put it on our back. That's where we are now. So Seth side is one eight seven. One eight seven right there. But the thing is, the reason we so close is like it's one eight third and then. 
There's no other numbers in between. It goes straight to 187. So you walk down one block, it's from 183rd to 187. So, so there's no 184, 185, none of that? Nah, not, on, not right here. Okay. Gangsta. So just 183rd and then next block 187. Yeah. So, um... Your newest, well, I'm not sure if that's your newest track, but you know, one of your tracks that's new is with you and Ron Suno. And I see you in SBL. How did you kind of like, you know, become part of SBL and like tap in with Ron Suno and shit like that? Oh, like my, 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 my older bros, like my older brothers and shit, like they, they fuck with each other and shit. And like we really introduce. But well, they ain't really introduced because I fake knew Suno before, but it wasn't on some like real knowing each other shit. But when they really introduced us, like when we were stewing shit, then like feel me, that's when we created our bond and that's why I fuck with him so heavy now. Yeah. Did you expect um, what they gonna say to do what it did? Now, how yeah, I knew, I ain't gonna lie, my son Suno threw it on his page. You know, my he go viral like that. That's what he do, feel me? Like, he known for being viral, doing viral shit, either it's with comedy or rapping or whatever he want to do. Like, he go viral regardless. He got a million followers. So, um, where, where where do you see yourself in the future? Like, the next three, five years? Like, what, what you got going on? Like, what, what? I'm trying to get this fucking M's, man. I'm trying to get, like, I right, get out the hood, you know? Like, I ain't even really in the hood. Like, I don't live in my block, but... Like, yeah, I, I want to be out the hood, hood. Like, I want to go to Big Crib on the hills or some shit, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So, um, your name, um, Zay Munna, how did you kind of, like, get that name? And Because I also see other people have Munna in their name. I think Hunter, too, if I'm not mistaken. Is it Hunter? So, how did that, like, your name kind of come about and shit? I ain't gonna lie. My name came about on some, like, on some Facebook shit, like, mad long ago, like, 2014, 15, like... Niggas just was bored in the crib and needed a Facebook fire Facebook name. So then I just said, yo, instead of money, let's let's do money. Like, let's make our own slang for money. That's what that shit was for. But and that shit just became bigger over time. Like, we became, like, on our music shit. Like, that's not no gang shit, though. I was just about to ask that, too. Nobody yeah, that, that, So please don't confuse that with no gang shit. I, I say this in every interview. Like, that's not no gang shit. That's straight for the music and all that word. Gangsta. That's, but that's how that bitch came about over a Facebook name, and then we just made it viral to some music shit. So when you when you go to the studio, can you kind of tell me how your creative process is? Like, do you have do you like having a lot of people in the studio? Do you like being dodo in the studio? Do you freestyle? Do you have stuff ran down? Like, how how is the creative process? I mean, it depends. Like, sometimes I like to be dolo, and then like. Sometimes I like to be in there with my members, like everybody in there having fun and shit. Then we just going to stool. Cause I ain't gonna, I freestyle all my shit. So sometimes, feel me, I could go in there freestyle when I'm on some dolo shit and just do that. Feel me, take a, take some time, get to, like start thinking more. Or sometimes I'll be with the members and they throw me a line or two, like yo, you can say this, bro. So feel me, that's how that shit go. Either way, feel me, just we just go viral every shirt. All right. So, do you have any music videos, any songs, any projects that you want to let the people know? Wait for this video to drop this week, you heard? I ain't gonna feel me. That shit called Ready For Whatever, you heard? Is it features or Dolo? It's a, it's a feature. It's me, my son Simona, Relly G, and Papa G. We on that shit going crazy for sure. <laughs> you know what's going on. When, when, when you plan on dropping it? Uh, we, dro- we even gonna drop it. Pro- we probably gonna drop that shit tomorrow. Or Friday. It was either tomorrow or Friday we was thinking about, but wait till y'all see that vid and wait till y'all hear with them lyrics. <laughs> we turned up for sure. <laughs> what? You, you know where I, where, 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 where I could picture you um, being next on, on the radar? I feel like you, you should do it on, on the radar. Like a freestyle or something yeah, shit on there, right? Yeah, like I see that, they do a lot of like drill rappers and shit like that. I could see you being on there. Nah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking that too. I, I definitely got to get one of those in for sure. Those, those are definitely viral too. Everybody going viral off those. You gotta go up there and talk though. You can't go up there and say no bullshit. Like nah, yeah, niggas yeah. don't want to hear that bullshit. Nah, like, cause I ain't gonna lie, I seen a lot of y'all niggas freestyles, man. I ain't saying no names, but some of them wasn't it, man. I ain't gonna lie, and I don't hate on nobody for sure. But see, I wasn't saying nothing, <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> nah, but, uh, 
So where do people can find you at? Like your Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, Zaymana everywhere. Zaymana all platforms on music, on uh, every social media. Or I even got a Twitter. I don't even use that shit, but Zaymana, you heard? <laughs> like, feel me? But I be on the gram mostly, so tap in on the gram, Zay.Mana. That's it. So, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Feel me? That song that you did with Ronsuno, it was, it was fire. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't gonna hold you. I think, like, Ron Verse was better. Like, he bodied you on that track. Now, what you mean by that, though? Like, like I don't know. I, I feel like your verse was kind of like... You bugging yo, out. That's my yo, bro. We both yo, went yo, crazy yo, on that. Yo, right? bro. That's my bro. We both I, went crazy on that. Yo, bro. I'm sure. just joking, I, bro. I, sure. I, I, you, I bet. 